Hey guys, how do you find your customers for paint parties? And how do you communicate so that you can book a paint party? These are very, very, very confusing things to some people and I wanna demystify it and show you exactly how to do it. So this free training, stay tuned, it's coming up right now. This free training is all about how to communicate to your customers after you find your customers. Again, you can't do paint parties if you don't have any customers. So I hope this helps you. And please share if you think somebody may be interested in this. And also put a comment in below which part really stood out to you. And if it helped, let me know if these things help and I can do more. All right, enjoy the training. Okay, so the paint party business guide. Why are some artists able to find customers for paint parties while others are stuck in the starving artist mode? Why do some crafters thrive while others can't seem to catch a break? And why are some people making it happen while others are floundering and totally stuck? In this free training, this free workshop, I'm gonna answer these questions so that you too can start making money teaching paint parties. Hi guys, my name is Heidi Easley, founder of Paint Party Headquarters in Texas Art and Soul, where I teach thousands of women how to paint. Yes, you heard me right, thousands. <laughs> Welcome to my brand new video workshop, Paint Party Business. In this workshop training, you're going to discover a guideline for getting customers to your paint parties. This is going to immediately help you gain traction. Once you get this down, you'll start experiencing more confidence and excitement. So if you're new to the paint party side of business, how many of y'all out there are new? Raise your hand. <laughs> I'm with you, I've been there before. Maybe you're new to the paint party business, but you're not getting the traction you want, or you're already an owner of a paint party business that isn't doing as good as you would like it to. You're, you need to stay with me because you're going to discover why artists and crafters like you and me can get more confidence and excitement and why it's critical that you get this step handled right now. So the goal of the workshop is simple, guys, to help you easily start making money teaching paint parties. Today I'm gonna to show you the first step by helping you gain traction so that you can have more confidence and excitement with your paint party business. There's nothing worse than not being able to get the traction you need and just being so overwhelmed. And with this, it's gonna give you a greater opportunity to experience less confusion in your business. So are you ready to make this happen? Are anybody out there ready to make this happen? Okay, so, but first, before we begin it, before we dig in, sorry, my tongue is tied. I have to warn you about something critically important. So you can gain traction and save a ton of time. So I'm gonna show a guideline that I've developed after years, and my dog is trying to visit as well, after years of trial and error, and it's called the Paint Party Business Guide, How to Find Your Customers. So if your paint party business is stuck or you are just getting started, this guide will serve as a tremendous resource to eliminate that frustration and help you get started. And it's really gonna help you gain traction. Maybe you're new to the business side of paint parties or maybe you've already been an owner. Either way, you're in the right place because after this, you'll know how to gain that traction you need. So I have developed this framework for you because I saw so many artists and crafters becoming completely sidetracked while trying to get customers for their paint parties. For example, I saw artists who were new to the business side of paint parties trying to gain traction before they knew how to find their customers. And if you're already own, an owner of a paint party business and you aren't doing as good as you'd like to, it's often because finding your customers the right way isn't in place. I could go on, but I know artists and crafters need clarity because in full transparency, that was my story too. So before I outline Paint Party Business Guide, how to find your customers and the specifics for each step, you might be wondering how I got into all of this and figured all of this out. So let me tell you so you can understand where it's coming from. It started when I knew I had to create a guideline for paint parties in order to gain traction. Because I wasn't sure I could, I was just so busy. I just didn't see how I could fit it in. And to be honest, I doubted I could do it because I'm not techie. I mean, seriously, my students, when I taught art in school, they taught me how to use Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> and on top of that, I figured it would be way too expensive to start. 
So if any of this sounds familiar, let me tell you, I know exactly what it's like, guys. I felt so, so scared. I was basically paralyzed in fear for a while. And I even questioned myself if I could do it. But I was tired of spinning my wheels and I knew that creating this guideline for getting customers was the key to gain the traction I was after. So I set out to find a way to make it happen. So once I got past my objections and I started investing in myself, I started seeing massive growth. I set out to do this and it's happened. I'm so excited. And now I use the same guideline to get my paint parties today. I also teach this to all the people I've mentored on how to get their paint parties as well. This let me gain traction, which was exactly what I was going for. And if you, if you, I'm talking to you, if you're ready for less confusion in your business, you're going to love this guide. Because this story doesn't stop with me, everything I'm about to share with you is the exact plan I followed to get customers for my paint parties. And it's also led me to experience freedom in my schedule. More importantly, this means you'll experience less confusion in your business. And that's what I want for you. All artists and crafters could use that. This is why I want to make it easy for you. So coming up, I'll share just how I do it. So the purpose of this paint party business guide, how to find your customers, is to help you quickly find customers so that you can gain traction. So to get started, I created a simple PDF for you to have. All you have to do is send me a message to my Texas Art and Soul Facebook business page and I will send you this PDF little mini ebook. So as we go through this guide, I want you to identify obvious areas of opportunity for your current situation, depending on where you're at. So are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. So in this guide, I'm going to give you three steps that I developed and many of my clients use to get paint parties booked. At the end of this workshop, you'll know how to find your customers and how to communicate with them. So finding customers, I would love for you right now to take out a piece of paper and write down all of the places where people gather. For example, churches, country clubs, Bible study groups, family reunions, cheerleaders, Girl Scouts, football players, whatever you get, bunco group, teacher events, wherever there's a place of 10 or more people where they gather. So just write those down as many as you can. Okay, I'm gonna give you just a few minutes to do that. I like to write down, just start thinking of stuff. And also in this guide, if you send me that email, I'll have my list as well of examples. So now that you're clear about how to create getting customers for your paint parties, the big question is, how do you communicate with them? <laughs> okay, hands down, this is the most important key to growth for artists. If you can't find your customers, then you won't be able to communicate with them. And without this, it means you'll try to rely on family and friends for your paint parties. That is not a good way to run this business. <laughs> what if instead you could find your customers and communicate them without, about paint parties? This doesn't mean having to work much harder. It's actually working smarter. A way better result for the same amount of effort. It's possible, guys. Now, how do you communicate with them? That's exactly what I'll show you now. So if you're new to the business side of paint parties, this will serve as the foundation so you see how to communicate with them. If you're already a paint party, an owner of a paint party business, then you'll be able to quickly put this into practice to find your customers. I'm also going to introduce you to stories and with the paint party business guide, how to find your customers, you will also receive a communication template that you can use as an ongoing reference and tool. Once you know exactly what to do, you'll see how easy it is to communicate with them and to start see, seeing bookings for your paint parties. Now I know that's what all of us want, right? So before we go today, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what your life would look like if you could get started teaching paint parties. What if you could just start getting your customers for your paint parties? What would your life look like? How would your life be different when you gain traction? So let me know in the comments below. I'm going to read every one and I will respond to as many as I can. 
And if you found this video useful, and I'm so, so excited about y'all sending me that message so I can send this guide to you. If you found this video useful, please share it with somebody who may be interested. My mission is to show as many people possible how art heals. And as my friend Jenny said, paint parties is just the gateway drug to a creative life. <laughs> so true. I'm only one person and I need you out there teaching paint parties as well. Showing God's love through art. What you've learned today here is a simple process for how to find your customers and getting customers to your paint parties. It's a game changer in helping you start making money teaching paint parties. And it's a step along the, the way in reaching your goal. And that's when, that's when you can gain traction and more importantly, have less confusion in your business. And what you're learning in this workshop puts you on the right path to get there. So if you would love this free gift, this free guide, Paint Party Business, How to Find Your Customers, just simply send me a message to my Facebook page, Texas Art and Soul, and I will send it out to you. So excited for your adventure. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and I can't wait to see what you Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the training on how to find your customers and then communicate to your customers. It's really not that hard, but I think a lot of times those little things, we keep ourselves so stuck. And I wanted to get you out of that stuck mode so that you can start making money teaching paint parties. Again, I feel like art heals and we can't, I'm only one person, I can only share that to so many people. But if there's people out there all over teaching people about this, it's just gonna make such a big difference in the world. And also, I don't know when you're watching this, okay, but a couple times a year, I open up my Paint Party Headquarters program. This program is amazing. It's a monthly membership. And so depending on what time of the year you're, you're watching this, it may not be open right now, but you can join the wait list. So click below to find out more information to see if the doors are open or if you wanna join the wait list to know when the next time they are open. And this just totally helps you um, drive home tons of ideas and actually gives you Kind of like lesson plans for a teacher, but lesson plans for a paint party owner. So um, it's social media hacks, marketing packs, as well as tutorials and different things like that. So if you want to learn more, click below to find out if the doors are open. If not, you can be on the wait list. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you think a friend might be interested, please share with your artsy or your crafty friends so that we can make the world a better place. Bye, guys.